agencies around the world require a solution to complex interconnections of privacy, legal operations, digital investigations, and cybersecurity response. Extero empowers legal teams to proactively and defensively manage their legal governance, risk, and compliance requirements. Started in 2008, Extero, now a unicorn, is providing the biggest corporations of the world with GRC software. NewsX visited Extero's office and had a conversation with the CEO Bobby Balachandran to know about the journey to success and their vision. Hello viewers, welcome to NewsX special show. Today we will be speaking about Cyber Governance a Company which was started in 2008 and still running in a very successful way where they have been established across 200 countries and their software has also been used by many Intel securities and top companies across the world and top MNC companies have also been using this particular company. So this company is called as Extora. So this is a company started by Bobby Chandran who started this company from the back a decade back where if you see from 2008 and now is successful in 2021 and what we are getting to know is that on that era there was no mobile phones and there was no internet but that man came with a big dream to start up with this cyber security because we all know that the data is a new oil. So let's go and, and we will also talk to the Bobby Balachandran, the CEO and founder of Extora Video Company, Mr. Bobby Balachandran. Hello, sir. It's a great pleasure talking to you. Yeah, nice so, meeting how you. do you see this whole journey from 2008 to 2021? It's been a, you know, kind of a very, very fun ride so far. Just like, you know, um, we started out to solve a, a very, very big problem um, in, the, in the corporate and governmental area around data legal governance, risk and compliance. And, uh, you know, we are now a leader in that. You know, we are operating in, you know, we, our, our software is used in more than 200 countries. We have locations across the world, um, and, um, and 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 we've grown significantly. You know, we are a unicorn uh, for several years. You know, um, we can go IPO anytime, and we have, and and I feel like this is just a starting point. Right? So um, there's so much opportunity to grow, and you know be like what SAP did in the ERP, ERP side, I think we can be, um, you know, Xero could be the, you know, the, the SAP in the legal GRC space. So that's how the market is and, um, and we are very well positioned to take it. So can you just please tell us our viewers about Xero and how does it function? Yeah, sure, sure. So if you think about it, like, you know, in today's world, data is everything. Right, so businesses make decisions based on data. Um, you know, when you think about analytics, you know, forecasting, you know, customer intimacy, kind of customer information, everything is derived, you know, based on data. Governmental agencies is all based on data, right? So you see kind of from uh, tax authorities to, you know, how thing, you know, things operate. Um, and, and unfortunately, crimes, criminals use data as well. So everything is, is around data. So when you think about organizations, um, the powerful data is the new oil, right? It's kind of like that's the that's how businesses are driven. But it also exposes these companies to massive risks, you know, from a from a you know. So if, if there is a lawsuit between two companies, data is evidence. You know, when you think about your your data privacy, that's a big big deal, right? So companies manage so many. You know, if you have a bank account. Um, the banks hold millions of people's, you know, information. You know, the, the you know, you think about communication. If you have a phone company you're working with, they have your information. Think about retailers, right? So where, you know, where they're mining information on how to get customers. So, what if that information get breached? That's a huge, huge risk. I mean, the company's reputation is on the line, um, so they have to deal with that. You think about, you know, um, investigations. Theft, theft, data theft. If, if a bad actor comes into the environment, how do you do that? Um, think about law enforcement agency. When they want to prosecute somebody or find the criminals, they have to use data, which you know, from the the um, from the culprits and kind of what the the whole network. So um, that kind of risk of data. What Xterra does is we help these organizations use the power of data. And, but like mitigate the risk around it. So we, we give them all the power without all the downside risk. 
so that's so they can you know peacefully focus on their work and not worry about you know the the governance risk and compliance from a legal standpoint around um, around data. So we also saw at the entrance of the company that this is a time tree of your whole travel. Can you just explain about this whole? travel of this from from the year 2004 can you just sh uh, show us a travel from 2004 to the present world yeah so i mean um we and i started kind of incepting like what 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 do we do how you know what is this business opportunity right so this, it doesn't doesn't happen overnight i've been like studying the problem for a long time you know so the legal departments you know what they have to deal with all these different departments how they need to deal with you know, from a from a governance standpoint, was something I've been thinking about for a very long time. I've been, you know, how do we solve this problem? How big the market opportunity is? Um, as I continue to talk to practitioners, you know, lawyers and you know all of those folks, I, I it was a massive, massive opportunity to create a a, a global powerhouse of a software product company. Um, so in 2007. You know, um, quit my job, kind of like jumped all in, and you know, um, kind of found my co-founders to kind of say like, let's go all in and get going. So we had our first um, product, you know, in, in 2007. We office our kind of like first location here. I mean, obviously we are in Quantico right now. Our first Indian location was here. Our headquarters is in uh, Portland, Oregon. You know, so um, we were just kind of getting our first customers. So you know, it's kind of hard to see here. Uh, first customers, awards. You know, we just continued to kind of innovate. We are an innovative company, so we've been just growing our you know platform. So the initial vision was not just one product, right? So it's kind of like we wanted to solve multiple problems and provide the only platform which can solve that. So um, so we just continued to grow. I mean, you know, um, as recognized for. Uh, top 40 under 40 in America. We created our first user conference in 10. Um, you know, just continued to win awards. You know, we were, you know, kind of like 2011. We were a visionary in the Gardner Magic Quadrant. You know, soon after we, we were a leader in it. Um, India first 100. You know, so just innovation after innovation, and it's like you know, it's been an exciting journey. Like you know, so we were the magic. Um, you know, leader in the Gartner Magic Quarter for several years, over and over and over again. So, um, and it's like you know, I think the wall has ended, you know, here. But like, the the journey has been amazing. You know, we are considered the gold standard to deal with, you know, the legal governance system compliance. We are a category king. We created a category in that aspect of it. So this is a particular time tree is for your employees to get guided, to get motivated and like you and become a CEO in one day like you. So how do you, this is the example for it or how do you say this sir? Well I mean it's, you know there's, Xtero is, is built by our employees, right? It's not like, it's, it's not just me. So um, we've been kind of, I want them to see what they've created, which is an important part. So showing them you know on a day-to-day -day basis we also you can see clients, here yeah. you know our clients like right? so we've ha we have more than 3000 customers in the world and and these customers are the biggest companies in the world right so and smaller companies big governmental agencies you know all of them use our software so it's it's a it's a good reflection for our you know for our employees to see all the different things you know they've accomplished mm -hmm. not you know as a company like we should be proud of like all the things we've done uh, to help our customers so what was the scratch from 2008 and what is the present? Um, as I said, you know, you, you can't, um, for, from, from the beginning, we had a big dream going in, but the big dreams don't get accomplished overnight. You have to have a very clear roadmap and a path on how you go towards that. So we just kind of continue to execute, you know, so how do we continue to build the platform? Um, and we just, you know, organically built a lot of products. Um, you know, when you think about um, two years ago, we bought in a private equity firm um, to kind of partner with because we saw a lot of opportunities to not just grow organically, but also inorganically through M&A. Right? So we bought our first, we made our first acquisition, you know, right after we partnered with them uh, called Jordan Lawrence, got us into the privacy market. And then, you know, one year later, we acquired our next in a company called Access Data, it was a leader in digital forensics, um, and we've been growing organically. So we've been 
growing both organically and inorganically. You know, our pro product portfolio, now we have more than 100 products, you know, and, um, and, and service kind of some amazing customers. Um, and as I said, like, you know, we are a leader in the space. So it just, you know, feels really good, but, but that's not it, right? So there's just a ton more opportunity for us to grow. So what, how do you see this from the journey from 2008 and now, and what is the future plans for Exterior? Oh, uh, you know, I was just talking to our employees yesterday. Um, so much opportunity for us. You know, I think we can continue to grow organically and organically. We can expand our product portfolio um, and, and be the de facto standard, you know, for, um, for corporations, um, for law enforcement agencies, and our market reach is global, right? So this is, a, you know, kind of when you combine the total addressable market, is in, you know, it's kind of north of $100 billion. So um, between data privacy, e-discovery, and, and forensics and cybersecurity compliance. So um, we have significant growth. Um, we are looking at IPO um, next year. Um, so we're kind of working towards that. You know, so it's, it's all about solving some very, very big problems for our customers, provide them a single platform where they can manage all that stuff. And also like, you know, I also see like us making the world a safer place, you know, so I'll share that with you. Just very excited about helping, you know, law enforcement and people who are trying to stop the bad guys, you know, with our software. So. Employees of Xtero also spoke about the growth of Xtero aligned with their personal growth in the organization. We started out in uh, 2007 or so. Uh, we started as a, uh, four of us started. Uh, at that time we had a pro one product, one or two products. And today we have probably 100 plus products and our software is used in more than 200 countries. Mainly it is used by uh, global 2000 corporations to manage risk. If you take top uh, global 2000 corporations, at any point in time, they'll have thousands of litigations. So how do you manage? Even one litigation can, can, can bring down the whole company. Uh, how do you manage thousand litigations? The amount of data you need to collect and how do you comb through that and how do you kind of the, uh, nail the one uh, smoking gun email that could turn the case upside down? We do all of that one on a single platform. And that's, uh, that's a major use of our software and used by mainly by Global 2000 corporations. Another area uh, we are focusing is for law enforcement agencies, mainly to uh, stop the bad guys from doing uh, human trafficking, from stopping child pornography, those sort of things. It helps top police, office, uh, police agencies to prosecute the bad guys. And that's how we, we have uh, developed over a period of uh, you know, uh, 12, plus, uh, 12 plus years, 100 plus products in 200 countries. And if you look at the past, mainly it comes from innovation. That's in the kind of the fabric of Extro. That's the that's in the DNA of uh, Extro. There are several cl uh, several clients. We have around uh, 3,000 clients in different markets. So uh, uh, definitely, some of them are uh, uh, I wouldn't be able to share. But definitely, top global corporations like Microsoft, Intel, Qualcomm, uh, they're all uh, our, our clients and some of the top uh, uh, investigation agencies, worldwide in investigation agencies uh, in US, in Europe, and uh, UK. Several agencies uh, use our software. My name is Roberto Costa, I'm from Portugal, and um, I've been working with Xerro at leading the privacy uh, solutions, implementation, innovation. The privacy market is really huge. Uh, companies are more and more taking care of uh, the individuals in terms of privacy, and that's where Xerro has a, a, a big um, presence, in the and for, particularly for GDPR, but not only for that. China just enacted a PIPL, new privacy protection law, and the world is growing and enacting new privacy law. So privacy um, external solutions is really making a difference and helping organizations to be compliant across the globe. So that's uh, our main goal, is to help organizations to make sure that they protect the individual's data and uh, therefore comply with privacy regulations across the globe. We're doing... Yeah, I started my career as a quality analyst, as an associate quality analyst. Uh, in this 12 years, like I've grown to a position of uh, director of release management. Uh, so this is like uh, not just a company for us, it's like our family. 
so we have been like part of it uh, in all these uh, stories so far in all these years uh, to say like uh, people who have quit this company are really regretting for their mistakes they have done why they quit or why they left extero they are trying to come back and of course uh, the management is providing the opportunity for them to even to come back for those who have uh, gone for a better opportunity but that's not a better opportunity actually this is the better opportunity and the best opportunity as well uh, since the uh, yesterday like uh, our uh, chief product officer has he said innovation uh, it's not just one part it's iterative it keeps on growing so that innovation is a key to success not just we just started with one area of legal hold on top of it we've been adding multiples of modules to it and that's the uh, innovation is the key to success Bobby Balachandran is considered to be the man behind Extero's success known for his out of the box thinking Bobby is known for encouraging and mentoring youngsters Bobby Balachandran was recently recognized as Legal Tech CEO of the year in 2021 Legal Tech Breakthrough Awards. Under Balachandran's vision and leadership, Extero brought access data into digital forensics technology which is now used by government agencies. So Mr Bobby we saw you that there's a lot of trophies and you are also interested in sports that's the kind of thing I'm seeing here so can you just explain about that? And yeah, I think you are also giving importance for people who are achieving in sports also. So can you just tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I love sports, right? It's kind of like it's a very competitive thing, um, and I I love watching it. I love cricket. I love American football, all different kinds of sports. So one of the things I learned early on in my career, like you know, when I was hiring people, um, especially for sales. I mean, people used to say like. you want to hire people who are in sports they'll be very competitive they want to win all the time so sports is kind of um it's not only fun but i think it's uh, you know it creates discipline and it, it's a i mean I, i enjoy it so you also been awarded as legal tech of the sea year 2021 so how do you feel about that it's uh, it's a very proud moment not just for me but also um for the entire company Right, so it's like when I, I was actually we had a town hall meeting yesterday, um, an all company meeting in in Coimbatore. So um, one of one of our employees asked me the same question. So what how do you what do you think about this and how did you achieve this? And my answer is pretty simple. You know I didn't do any magic here. The the award is because of the hard work of our teams, right? So the smart. the smartness and hard work and team work on how they kind of so it 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 really belongs to them um but it really helps puts us in the map in a sense like you know um now when our clients and prospects look at it it just kind of gives us a big deal but look the ceo award is like those several you know companies just represented um it was awarded for innovation adoption how many people use it the satisfaction so all of that shows that you know we're a great company but it really the award you know really belongs to extero and, and its employees so we also heard that when you hire people as a employees you don't go with their marks or any internal assessment but you go with the different uh, role of ideas and ambition so please can you just please tell us about this what's different do you are going with yeah look i think um you know um i studied in uh, gct you know in coimbatore and when you think about it um it was a, it was a great college it, you know to get in it was very hard but you know there were people from all over the country or actually all over the state you know so um they would they would have strong intelligence but they wouldn't have the exposure in communication and exposure and kind of how how to do certain things which you know people from other parts of the maybe the in the in the urban side might have so um what i learned was a bit like when you give them the exposure they were they were excelling in all the different areas so our philosophy is very simple you know we want to look for people with great aptitude and attitude and we hire looking at the future so this is you know they are in a in a specific spot like you no know, so if we if they exhibit high potential so if you if i can see like in 6 months if you can you know give this type of exposure you you could you know um that's how we kind of look at it so we have a very um 
interesting way of looking at people, not just like what they're currently doing, which is you know important, but like what is their future potential. So we have a strategy around it to identify those, and it just shows in the type of caliber. We have. So you are from India. So yeah. what are the future plans for now? You are in 200 countries now. So what special will be doing for India in the upcoming years? Yeah. So uh, look, I mean, I studied in um, in, a, in a government college. I mean, I didn't have to pay any fees, um, and it's India is a special country. I mean, I think you know, when I went to America, I went really with the education, which which um, you all helped me get right. So I want to give back to India. Um, for me, India has a lot of need. You know, for me, I think what I learned was entrepreneurship, how to build something from scratch. And I see a lot of a lot of people who have the drive to be, you know, successful in life, but they just don't have the know-how. They don't have the finances. They don't have, you know, it could be a micro business, it could be a small business. So we want to help them. You know, so we want to help different facets of of the society. You know, which I think is very, very important for, um, you know, for my fellow CEOs, I would say, like, you know, for all of us to kind of contribute. But it's, a, you know, it's an important part of our mission. I mean, I want our ethos to have that giving back aspect. So, um, for example, in a couple of days ago, we actually set up a, 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 a full-on computer lab in a government, high, you know, government school here in Coimbatore. You know, and um, you know, I've started a foundation to help you know the underprivileged people um, with you know entrepreneurship. So kind of you know not just funding, but also you know know-how and all of that stuff. So giving back is important, and we we are trying to partner with the governmental agencies and and do that. So one last question, Mr. Uh, uh, just I want to know the what is the future of Exeter in yeah. India? Look, I think. Um, Xtero um, has grown. I mean, you know, we're probably one of the large, you know, in the in the the big SaaS companies um, in in the world. We're probably in the top five in India, um, you know, from a revenue and scale and growth and all of that standpoint. Um, so, India is is a big market for us, you know, especially in the in the in the data privacy side, and then digital forensics, there's so much need in the country. So we're gonna take a big focus on India. You know, so there's a, you know, the law enforcement agencies, I've been talking to the leaders. I mean, we already have a lot of clients in India, but we are doubling down on it. You know, as a, as a, as a person from India, you know, um, coming from Tamil Nadu, it's a, it's a proud, proud moment for, um, to help the Indian law enforcement people to use our software to kind of make India a safer place. So, very passionate about it. You know, I want um, to help. You know, to make India a safer place. But also the other part in India, right? Like, so we're gonna really increase our R and D uh, talent in India. We, we just have so much of opportunities from an innovation standpoint. So we want to hire. You know, kind of the you know the bright. Um, engineers, you know, who, who's going to be the future of India, um, help them grow, um, you know, help the society from a philanthropic standpoint. So, you know, we see, you know, we, we, we're very excited about India. And, you know, with, I, with IPO, um, you know, there's just a ton of things going on. Thank you so much, Mr. Bobby. It was a great pleasure talking to you and you were also sharing interesting things which are about extra. So it was a great pleasure thanking you and thanking you for uh, speaking to NewsX. Thank you, Ash. Xtero continues to spread wings by bringing innovative software and digitally empowered products. Xtero has grown into a bustling and innovative company of more than 400 people worldwide. Bobby feels that Xtero is on the pathway for its first IPO listing.